Let's simplify this expression. Just remember to write everything down and make sure you write neatly. So let's begin by looking at our fraction bar. The fraction bar will act as a grouping symbol, so we'll work above and below the grouping symbol, the fraction bar, independently, but at the same time. So let's concentrate on the numerator. Notice I have a set of parentheses here, so I'll work within this set of parentheses. That will be 6 times. And then what is 7 minus 9? 7 minus 9 is negative 2. So that's negative 2, still cubed, plus negative 2. At the same time, we'll work in the denominator. That's negative 2 times negative 5 times negative 5. So we can certainly uh, multiply from left to right. Negative 2 times negative 5, that's positive 10. And I'll multiply that by negative 5 in just a moment. Let's continue working in the numerator and the denominator separately. What do I perform next in the numerator? Notice I have an exponential expression here, so I evaluate that expression next. That's 6 times. This is negative 2, that quantity cubed, so it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 6 times negative 8, and then I still have plus negative 2. Let's finish in the denominator. What is 10 times negative 5? That's negative 50. And now let's continue in the numerator. 6 times negative 8. Well, 6 times negative 8, that's negative 48. Notice I am multiplying before I add. Remember order of operations. And then I have plus negative 2 in the denominator, negative 50. So in the denominator, I now add, or excuse me, in the numerator, I now add these two numbers. I'm adding two numbers with like signs. Once I add, I have negative 50. And I have negative 50 in the denominator. And so negative 50 over negative 50, now I divide, and that simplifies to 1. This expression simplifies to 1. Study this expression a moment and decide how you will begin simplifying. This fraction bar serves as a grouping symbol, so simplify above and below independently. Let's begin in the numerator. Notice I have two sets of parentheses, so I'll begin within those two sets of parentheses uh, also independently. Here I'll have 4 minus, what is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. And then minus, here I have negative 7 minus 20. Negative 7 minus 20, that's negative 27. And then let's work in the denominator also. I have negative 2. And then within this set of parentheses, 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. And that is squared. And now let's just continue working in the numerator and the denominator separately. 4 minus 4, that is 0. And 0 minus a negative 27, that's 0 plus 27. Let me go ahead and just write that down, and we can do that in the next step. In the denominator, I have negative 2 times, and this is negative 3 times negative 3. Remember, raising a number to a power is higher in order of operations than multiplication. So next, I'll find negative 3 quantity squared. That's negative 3 times negative 3, or positive 9. And now let's continue. 0 plus 27 is 27. In the denominator, negative 2 times 9, that is negative 18. Now let's divide. Notice we do have a common factor of 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And negative 18 divided by 9 is negative 2. So we can write this as 3 over negative 2 or we can write it as negative 3 halves. This simplifies to negative 3 halves.